Before we continue and discuss some of the differences between get by text and the other selectors, I think it's important to discuss testing library's philosophy and how everything is working here. One thing you'll notice is although we do have a return value from the render function, we did not call that one wrapper, and that's because in testing library it's not really a wrapper. In view test utils it certainly is. You get back a wrapper which has all these convenient methods for testing your component, such as set props and set data and so on and so forth. In testing library we're not actually getting a wrapper here, and the whole idea is not to think about things from a component point of view. View test utils is very component centric, everything is focused on the component and the wrapper. Testing library on the other hand is user centric, it likes to focus on the actions that users can take. If we take a look at their website you can see here that they want to encourage you to test the UI as opposed to implementation details, and this is something I definitely agree with. You want to test how your component works or how it behaves as opposed to the implementation details. So that's the whole driving force behind testing library. So what we're doing here is simulating what a user does. So a better name for this variable here would be something like user. The idea is that the user is going to get something by text. Obviously that's something a user does. They use their eyes to visually select something on a page. And that's why I like to, you could call this user. What is much more common in the testing library community from what I can tell, or at least this is how I like to do it, is you just render your component like this and you import a variable called screen. And this is going to have all the testing library APIs attached to it, which is really convenient. Now I can go ahead and do screen.getByText and this is going to find any text on the screen that contains this message. And that's something a user would do from a user's point of view. If we go ahead and save this one off, we can see it is going to pass. Definitely a good place to be. And now that we've talked about that philosophy a little bit, let's jump into the next lecture and talk about all the different ways you can select nodes and how they're different.